Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dark and Darker. Today, we will go to the Hell Biome. I'm just buying a little bit of extra provisions. Another campfire, kids. Uh, two sets of bandages. Uh, maybe just one set of bandage. And an extra potion. Can I stack this with this? No. Oh, supplied and handled are different. Well, whatever. We're going to be going to the Forgotten Castle, which thankfully has handy things on the map. Which, uh, show you where to go to get to the lower level. I don't have the super special stiletto, which is a real downer, because I have the cave collapse last episode. So it might make sense to spend most of the first round just looting chests to try to get... Like, this is a decent set of equipment. Good even, but... Uh, it would be nice to... I don't know what I want. Like, obviously, bluebies would be good. Because that'd be more armor rating, more damage. A blue weapon would be actually insane. But uh, even a green would be enough for me rings that were slightly better and they gave like true physical damage or bonus physical damage would also be nice i forgot the hand crossbow oh b would it be no i don't need the hand crossbow the force field on this guy is slightly annoying Okay, it's gone. He's already a little bit injured because of his mage, buddy. Dude, blue mystic vestments? Are you kidding? It's so good. For not me. Uh, Alright, that's them dealt with. No, I haven't really explored this chamber all this much. There's that fight with the warlock which happened on this chamber. That's about it. You know, I think I'm good on skeleton mages. I think I'm gonna go to a chamber that actually has, like, chests and shit. This one's a pretty good one. I remember it having, like, three or four chests. It's just guarded by mummies. There's also the barrels. <laughs> it spawned the stuff at the bottom of the barrel. I'll grab the turn shoe. Alright. Well. Let's take stock. So I've got three healing potions and a single bandage and a campfire kit. And that's it. Oh, I see everyone has either escaped or died. And considering there's no kill feed. Oh, they might actually be down here. Come to think of it. I might not be free <laughs> of the PvP. Okay, at least we've succeeded in the goal. Gone down to the hell floor. So now I just need to kill a bunch of demon bats and berserkers and centaurs. And I have no experience fighting any of them. The bats are probably going to be easy. The berserkers I have seen people fight. Uh, I guess I'll take the left hand door. God, this area really sucks. What the fuck? That's the noise these fucking dudes make? Ooh. My man spams like crazy. What the fuck? What? Are you joking? He did... What? He's so tough. Okay, well, I need to buy... A bandage and... A couple other things. Pickaxe, hand crossbow... Arrows. Okay, I mean, I guess you just can't... Trade blows. 
with the demon bat. That's kind of incredibly disappointing. Okay, there's a lot of dudes with skins. I feel great fear. Trepidation. Next time I fight a demon bat, I guess what I'll do is I'll try to lure his attack out and then circle strafe. Stab him in the back once and then do that. It's either that or like ranged, which I mean, it is an option. It's not like a particularly super great option for me. Oh man. It sucks to have a oh, low loot level. My stats are so slow and ineffective. I definitely need to... Loot some containers, get a gear set going. Oh, green. Greenies. Stiletto dagger. White. Pretty good. Damage bonus, sure. I think I vaguely hear footsteps. I don't know how to them. You suck. Okay, so there's another player there, but they don't want to engage. I'm fine with that. So my goal is not PvP, I'm keeping an eye on them though. The Rondel's pretty nice. 24 damage Rondel. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, I'm relatively near an escape portal. I see there's a red skeleton. And I'm getting shot at by an archer skeleton, who's also red. chunk the crap out of me. Holy crap. I might be undergeared for this place. And I could just get good and not get hit. That'd probably solve that. Oh man, I don't want to fight any more skeletons. I missed my super move. I think I see a bat as well. Oh, this dude's hauling ass. He's a super skeleton. Okay, as long as you keep your distance. Oh, man. Okay, that is a centaur. Okay, well, I'm gonna fight this guy first. I've seen people fight the centaur. You basically just, uh... Crouch. Dude, why is that centaur hauling so much ass? I guess I'll chug the potion protection. What? 
That hit me? No. Oh, man. Let's see. So this guy's got a long sword. And they're blocking with it. Okay, they know what they're doing. I want to see this person fight a centaur. <laughs> Dude's fighting a wraith. Okay, the wraith strategy just seems to be to go and circle straight to the right. Oh, that's not that bad. I guess this person's sword. It's just 41 damage. Not too bad. I think I want to go for one more round. Uh, how's my med situation? God, bro. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. Okay, he broke the barrel. Okay, you know, that wasn't too, too terrible. Actually getting the straight upgrade on the helm is pretty friggin' good. So might as well loot all these chests. Mm, I like the interaction speed. Ooh, there's a lever. I'll take the pants. Oh, it's a shortcut. <laughs> I hear a lot of hate. Don't think I'm gonna go in the room with the skeleton champion. I guess I will have a hand crossbow after all. <coughs> he did actually get me. Oh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, uh, you know what? We had a goal. The goal was to get to the bottom of the dungeon, and I did successfully do that. Now, we didn't really accomplish much while we were down there, but... You know, that's fine. Not every round. No, we, we uh, got some practice in. 
which is really good. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Dark and Darker. Goodbye!